Hi, uh, today I'm trying to measure some signals on my PCB. You may know this problem, this is not always very handy with a multimeter. For instance, here I have an Arduino board and I want to measure some signal levels on the pins of the processor. Okay, so I take my multimeter, first I have to find the ground, well, in this case I already soldered a ground pin wire on the ground. So, put my black lead on here and then start placing my probe on a tip and I have to look on my multimeter uh, to see it's apparently a zero. Okay, uh, here, what do we have here? Five, so that must be a one. Oh, and then there I slid off the pin. This is really annoying, it happens all the time with these probes. It's difficult to measure, it would be better to have some kind of tool that allows you to keep your eyes on the probes instead of having to take your eyes off the point on, under test to look on your multimeter. So this is exactly what we did. We designed a small tester, which we call the multi-tester. It's a level tester. Oops. It's very strong, so it uh, doesn't matter if I drop it. Uh, with this device, you can measure signal levels, logic levels on your PCB without having to look up to uh, read the value on a display. Okay, I will connect it. It is powered from the device under test. This is why I took an Arduino because it's handy. I put the 5 volts on 5 volts, the ground on ground. And now this is my test lead. If I place it on a pin, I don't know if you can hear it, we have a low beep, which means that the level here is low. If I place it on another pin, here we have a high beep, high frequency sound. This means that the signal level is high. It's very easy, you just put the probe on the pin and listen to the sound. Okay, it has several uh, modes, so it can detect low level, high level, it can detect unconnected, like it is now, unconnected. This means also um, open collector outputs that do not have a pull-up resistor or um, uh, high impedance uh, outputs or inputs. So this is not sounding, is there is nothing, but really nothing. And it has also, it can uh, detect frequencies and make them audible for you. So in order to uh, show you what it is capable of, I programmed the Arduino with a small sketch to create an output with a zero, an output with a one or a high level, an output with nothing or an input, if you like, unconnected, and the frequency. Okay, so here we go. This is a low level. Here we have the high level. Here is nothing. So it's either an input or tri-stated or not connected, it can even be broken. And here I have a frequency. And as you can hear, it's alternating between high and low, uh, showing you that there is a frequency. This frequency that you hear is not the frequency that is here, it is divided by a divider on the board. So you can measure frequencies up to, I think, two megahertz and use this switch option here to bring it the, the audible frequency into range of your ears. Okay, so this project has been done in RS Components free uh, circuit drawing tool DesignSpark PCB. And you can download all the files for this project from the DesignShare website of which the link is shown now. And read also about how the circuit works, of course, because just the schematic is nice, but knowing how it works is better. Thank you.